and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I have not done this video before. I thought about this a few months ago and it was the most obvious idea that I've ever had but for some reason it's never crossed my mind. I've been traveling a lot so I've been posting videos like what I eat as a vegan in blank. Like I know I did Vegas and New York and I've just done different locations and of course I'm going to be continuing those videos when I travel to more places. But one thing I've never done is Los Angeles food. This is where I live. I don't know why I've never done that. I've never done like an LA vegan restaurant video. I mean, of course, LA vegan restaurants have been in my videos since the beginning of my channel by default because if I'm filming what I eat and I go out to eat, it's going to be my videos. But I've never made a sole video based off of LA vegan restaurants and I don't know why. So I started filming this video a couple months back and I kind of just vlogged every time I went out to a different vegan restaurant and there's five different ones in this video. And I'm just going to continue this. And it, this is just going to be like a normal kind of regular thing on my channel. It's just going to be a compilation of like the last five vegan restaurants that I went to. I'm going to do LA ones and Orange County ones. Today I'm starting out in LA. These videos are just to give recommendations if you live in the LA area or since LA is obviously a big city. People travel here if you ever come here. Or if you already have plans to come here, you can start making a list because... I have some good recommendations. I found some good places. And these videos are all going to be restaurants that I haven't been to. So they're going to be new for me and you. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to get started and let's get into it. So the first place that I went to was called Nick's on Beverly. And their website describes it as Nick's on Beverly is a plant-based restaurant focused on California because we... What? Cuisine... <laughs> Cuisine, serving a little bit of everything you'd hope to find on a Los Angeles menu, a melting pot of cuisines, unified in their ability to showcase local California produce in a casual yet fun setting. So that's what they have. They have, you know, the normal menu and then a pretty popular brunch menu as well, which I went for brunch, so let's head over there. Hey guys, um, this portion has to be filmed with my phone. Thanks to my friend Sip because he did not want to pick up his phone. I was supposed to go pick up my camera from his house, and I'm at his house, but... Also didn't answer the door. So at first I was like, okay, I guess I'm not gonna film the restaurant, but this restaurant I've been wanting to try for years. And luckily I have a better camera on my phone, so it should be fine. And of course the rest of the video will be filmed on my actual camera. So I am just going to film it on my phone. Anyways, today I'm going to Nick's on Beverly, which I honestly, I know I've said I've been wanting to go here for years. I don't really know anything about it. I just know that the food is supposed to be super, super good. It's a little pricey, so my bank account's not gonna be happy, but I'll justify it because it's for you guys, it's for video, it's fine. And it's gonna taste really good. But we're actually going there for brunch. I'm meeting my friend Lada there. I'm like a few minutes away right now, so we're gonna go there. And I don't know what we're gonna get, but whenever we go out to eat, I mean, at least most of the time when it's us two going out, we just get a bunch of things and share them all. So you get to see a bunch of different fun food. Um, but yeah, it's brunch food, so like waffles, pancakes, all that which I love so let's head over there on Beverly was really really good of course I only tried two menu items and that's what this whole video I mean I can't really rate a whole restaurant based off of two things but I can get a decent idea both things that I had were really good um 100% go back I want to go back for the normal menu um but yeah I was a big fan the outdoor seating was really cute actually indoor was really cute too the whole place was just cute good experience I like the place I would recommend it second we're gonna head to a place called fresh on sunset which is a place that I actually didn't even know existed for the longest time. I really didn't know about it. I don't remember how I found it. I think I was just searching for restaurants maybe on Google, but I went with my friend Melanie and this restaurant was actually really, really, really cute. I know I said Nick's Beverly was cute and it was, but Fresh was one of like my favorite looking interiors of restaurant I think I've ever been to. It had these little like vine things hanging all around that were super cute and I loved the colors. Lots of windows, very bright and I was a big fan. But we got some onion rings as an appetizer that were amazing. I don't think I've ever had vegan onion rings or at least that I could remember. And I also would call myself someone that's not a, like I'm not a big onion ring person. 99% of the time I would always choose fries over onion rings, but these, 
I would make my cheese eggs over fries more often. I would. It's a big thing for me because I love fries. And then we each got these noodle bowls. I give them a review here, so I'm not going to talk too much about them now, but they were amazing. So we're here, we just ordered, we got our food. We both decided to get soba noodle like bowls. So honestly, I don't even know what's even, do you even know what's in here? <laughs> like peanut sauce or, I don't even know. It's okay. So she got the Buddha bowl with peanut sauce, tofu cubes, tomato, cilantro, cucumber, red cabbage, jicama, sumac, scallions, peanuts, and lemon. <laughs> Yes. And I got the goddess bowl with baby bok choy, Swiss chard, kale, broccoli, te something I don't know how to say, ginger, chili, tempeh, pickled ginger, sunflower, nori, something else I don't know how to say, and tahini sauce. So good. They, they look really, really good. So yeah, fancy as well. We'll just do a taste test to tell you guys how they are um, and if we recommend them. Steaming. That is really good. This is really good too. Oh I love God. tahini. Yeah, I love peanut sauce. Perfect. perfect. Okay, honestly, would recommend. Yeah. Maybe we'll talk about it more in the end if I remember. If not, fresh on sunset. And overall, fresh on sunset, I would recommend too. I'm being so nice in this video, but they're such good restaurants. Restaurant number three is Monty's Good Burger. I gave a whole intro there, so let's play that clip. Hello guys, I am at Monty's Good Burger in LA. We're at the Western Avenue one. This is the one I've been to before. Yes, I have been to this restaurant before, which I know isn't supposed to be this part of the video, but their menu is pretty small. It's bigger than In-N-Out, but it's kind of like In-N-Out in the way where it doesn't change all that often, at least from what I know. I also don't keep up with their menu, so maybe I'm completely wrong, but from what I think, they don't they don't change it up a lot, but they just permanently added a, oh my god. I don't know if you guys heard that, my stomach just growled, like I am so hungry. They just added a fried chicken sandwich, and I've been here once, I had a burger and a vanilla shake, both very good, but I thought that I would come back to try the chicken sandwich because I want to try it and see if it's good so that's why I'm putting it in this video because it's a new whole type of thing at this restaurant so it's, it's still the same thing and I won't be getting a shake this time I'll be getting something new and it's been something I've been craving recently like I mentioned it to my family I think I was like I really want this and then a couple days after my friends texted in a group chat who wants to go to Monty's wow perfect I can get it here but I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I don't even think I've had it since going vegan. That's been almost five years. So overall, my review of the vegan chicken burger at Monty's. Before trying it, my friend Brooke told me that she had heard some bad things about it, which I'm not a picky eater, like at all. Like I, I've talked about this with a bunch of people. I feel like I don't dislike anything, or it's very rare for me to, but she let me know that she had heard that this chicken sandwich apparently had bad reviews and then I went to their Yelp I went to like the little search section of their Yelp look at the word chicken and I saw a few reviews about the chicken and all of them were bad I'm hearing this thinking why would I get the chicken I don't know I just feel like I would like it and I had to try it now that everyone's saying it's bad because I've never had a vegan fried chicken actually I have had a vegan fried chicken sandwich that was bad that was a black tap don't get the vegan fried chicken sandwich of black tap it was not good. It was this mushroom chicken, like a fried mushroom. It was also like 20 bucks. That was really bad. But I had faith in Monty's. I like their burgers, I like their shakes. So I felt like the chicken sandwich would be pretty good. So I decided to get it and it was pretty good. I liked it. Melanie liked it too. We thought it was great. I mean, it was really good. It was also kind of like a bunch of other vegan fried chicken sandwiches that I've had. It was a generic vegan fried chicken sandwich with vegan A's, which I actually subbed out for the onion aioli, so I had that instead of vegan A's, and then pickles. That's all it is. So, I mean, they can't... Unless the vegan patty is that bad, those ingredients can't really make something that's, like, horrible. I mean, to me, it was a very generic restaurant-made vegan chicken, like, fried, fried chicken sandwich. I've had a bunch of them like that, but also, I keep continuing to get them, so obviously... Even though I've had a bunch like that. I like them like that. So, they're good. Simple. You couldn't really mess it up. So, nothing that, like, completely blew me away because it's something I've had before. But, yeah, if you're looking for a good vegan fried chicken sandwich, go to Monty's. I thought it was good. If you've had it and you think it was bad, can you please explain to me in the comments? 
because Melanie and I were talking about this. We don't know if it's because we just are non-picky at all. So we just kind of think anything tastes good. But also we thought the sandwich was really good. So if you take my word for it and you think it's bad, I apologize. But I don't know. I thought it was good. I also just completely forgot to talk about the other thing I got, which is the root beer float. I don't know how I forgot to do that, but basically I got a root beer float. It is just like soft serve vanilla ice cream. I don't know what it's made out of. No idea, but it's delicious. Whatever base they use, it's good. It tastes just like plain vanilla ice cream and they put root beer on it. So just like the chicken sandwich, you can't really mess it up, but it tastes good, 10 out of 10. Okay, so before I say what I'm about to say, hear me out. Because I know it's like a crime, but like I said, hear me out. It is a restaurant that you guys are probably not expecting me to say because I bet you all have expected me to been here already. And I haven't. And that's Cafe Gratitude. If you're from the LA area, you probably know this is one of like the staple vegan restaurants. And I live within pretty easy driving distance of multiple locations, but I've never been. Today I'm changing that, finally, so I'm going. I'm going at one, and that is like right at the cutoff of the brunch menu, so I don't um, get to try the brunch, but it's okay, I'll go back for brunch one day. I'm hungry, I need to leave, so I'm gonna leave. I'm going with my friends, Brooke, Mel, and Claire, and I'm very excited, I've never met Claire. You may know her as Claire Can Cook on TikTok. She just moved to California, so we're all going out to lunch today, and I'm so excited, it's gonna be so much fun, so. Um, yes, let's drive because it's like an hour but that's like a normal day drive to me at this point so like no joke if i drive two hours or less in a day i'm like pretty solid i'm happy with it because it's like not that much traffic made that an hour and a half so that's annoying but oh well i'm here which was like this kelp noodle almond thing and honestly I would kind of give it a 10 out of 10 for being like kelp noodles it was really really good I got I am vibrant which was um, a matcha coconut milk matcha latte and then I got I am sharing but y'all I did not share that I added the mushroom carnitas and guacamole I got I am glorious and I subbed fries for yams and it was like a tofu wrap it was really good I say 10 out of 10 and a matcha latte with cinnamon on top because that's the only way I am giving it's a pizza and then they have vegan ranch on it and I love pizza and ranch so yeah. 10 out of 10 11 out of 10 do we all give 10 out of 10 yes yeah, so <laughs> Honestly, Cafe Gratitude kind oh, of there. killed it. Yeah, they yeah, but now we're walking to Aaron McKenna's Bakery because we're not done, which is a dessert time. All vegan, all gluten free. All gluten free, like all allergen friendly. So I didn't really have much explaining to do when it came to Cafe Gratitude because I kind of explained it all that day. But after Cafe Gratitude, Claire mentioned that Aaron McKenna's Bakery was down the street, which if you guys don't know, it's an all vegan, all gluten free bakery. And I had tried to go in a video that I filmed like a year ago with Vanessa and Melanie and it was uh, like trying the LA stereotypical vegan restaurant, something like that. Um, but we were trying to go that night and it ended up being closed already even though it was like before the hours it said it was closed. They had sold out. But when Claire mentioned this, I couldn't pass it up. So we walked from the restaurant over to Aaron McKenna's and I got this Cran Apple Toasty. Don't really know what it's called, the Toasty. It was just like a loaf or a bread. And then I got the strawberry shortcake. Hello, so I ended up eating pretty much all. I don't know if you can see, I ate like 90% of the strawberry slice and 90% of the loaf thing. And I mean, clearly if I'm eating that much, they're so good. The strawberry slice, honestly, like phenomenal. The loaf is really good as well. I feel like I'm being so nice. It's not even about being so nice today. The food that I had today was just amazing. I'm gonna give both these a 10 out of 10 too. It was such a fun day, such good food. And yeah, this might be the last one of the video. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, depending on how long it is, but I'm gonna go home 
and start editing. I first heard about them actually from Chris Clemens on YouTube. But they have a New York location, which I believe is their first like original one, and then an LA one. I have had gluten-free desserts, which I've had many that are like, couldn't even tell the difference, but I've had some that are like kind of gummy, not the greatest. This place does gluten-free so well. Once again, I only tried two things, but they were both, I am not like 15 out of 10. And then everything else there, like in the case, looked amazing. All the desserts my friends got, they also, they were super good. I, I don't know, I wanna go back already. Like I already miss it. I ate so much dessert that day, along with my noodles from Cafe Gratitude, but yeah. Looking through this video right now, like I was eating good. I don't know, I feel like such a bad food critic because I mean, food critic. I post what I eat on YouTube. It's not like I'm qualified for anything. Clearly, because I think everything tastes good, but I don't think I'm, I don't think I'm being too nice. Honestly, I feel like everything I ate in this video was just actually delicious. So if you want some good food and you live in LA or if you're visiting, I would recommend all five locations that I checked out in this video. But if I have to give you a personal favorite, one single restaurant recommendation from the video, I think I'm gonna say Fresh on Sunset. And I'm making that my number one for the video because it was a place that I had never heard of and maybe I was living under a rock and it's a place that everyone goes to, but I don't think so. I've never heard of it. I was quite impressed and I really wanna go back and try more of their stuff. Am I also giving this a higher rating because it was super cute inside? Maybe, but to me, that matters, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. These are gonna be coming out decently, regularly, maybe every couple months. Same with Orange County. So, so we'll be covering a good amount of California at least a good amount of Southern California. See you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.